what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here with a new video guys. Today we're gonna be reacting to Billboard. I love this guy a lot. Uh, you guys all know I love him. I love him 100%. Um, we're gonna be checking out how you know the end world is coming. I'd love to watch this. <laughs> you know how these guys are talking less right now. Yes, well, let's jump into it right now. Nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, and it's coming hard. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be pronounced with the A, it's gonna be with the R, and he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. It was like a dismount, clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> wait for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap. Like, ah. <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, fill me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? <laughs> Have you ever fucked your sister, right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. <laughs> you give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. <laughs> Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? Their eyes are up, you just shut up and play the game! <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville He's just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! This guy's good. I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know, get attacked by animals. <laughs> just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know what my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, yeah, they just must be a little. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out-of-shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk, you started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? <laughs> if you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think you're awesome. <laughs> you get in the game, you're all drunk, you're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! <laughs> and they're always calling him up, come on up here! <laughs> no, come on up here! That's true. Well, they came up there. <laughs> they did, and they kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like... <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? 
He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, wow, it's coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. And he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have... He's <laughs> an idiot. Oh my goodness, people, people. This one is very hilarious. Like, he... he it changes your mood. It changes your mood. This is so good. This is so funny. <laughs> and in the congregation of like black guys, it's very, very hilarious because almost everyone can relate. And he's very, very smart. He's very smart and he comes prepared every time. He knows what to cheer up a crowd. He knows who his um, congregation are. And before he comes in, he's ready. Like he's prepared. He has set up his mind. He has set up his jokes. He has calculated everything like it's very very smart and this itself is hilarious the n word is something like it's it has been for for years for decades we are like black dude all this fighting about it when people are using the n word like we're all this fighting about it <laughs> we're all this shocked when all this in the n word like are you serious are you serious especially when it's coming from a white guy <laughs> it's very hilarious and um, bill bone is also Tell people up, oh, it's very nice. I was really trying to entertain throughout the entire video. I was entertained, I love every moment of it, guys. This is really good. I would love to witness this my life perform. Like, it's a mean a lot to me. It's a really, really tell me. It's really mean a lot to me, guys. Comment down below what you think about this joke. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all